The massive benefit of Facebook ads compared to other forms of online advertising is the ability to target your audience strategically and very, very carefully. And Facebook advertising has the advantage of giving you access to huge amounts of information about each member. And users on Facebook generally share details such as their age, their profession, their marital status, their location, hobbies, interests, and much, much more. And this gives you the ability to pick exactly who you want to see your ads. So, do you want your ads to be seen by inner city teenagers? Or would you rather they were seen by women based in the suburbs who were in a relationship? Or by local business people? The reason why this matters is that it allows you to target the precise audience for your product or services. So, if you have a shop selling wedding dresses, you will probably want to target women in relationships, probably engaged, and living locally. If you were selling computer games from an e-commerce store, you'd want to broaden your ads to target everyone in the country or even all over the world if you're selling it via a digital download, for example. And you'd want to target mostly males in their teens and twenties who listed gaming as one of their hobbies. This way, you drastically reduce the amount of people who aren't likely to buy clicking on your ads. And you ensure that all of your money is being spent on worthwhile and useful advertising. So anybody who is not going to be interested in your product or your service is not going to see the ad and therefore is not going to be a waste of money for you. OK, now let's look at the different targeting options that Facebook has because they do have quite a few. And the sort of targeting option that you're going to choose is largely going to be dependent, of course, on what your product or service is. Now, you can create a custom audience if you want. You can use email addresses, phone numbers, Facebook user IDs or app user IDs to create and save addresses that you'd like to show your ads to. So you can make sure that only people who you specifically selected will actually get to see your ad. Nobody else will. You can also choose by location, age, gender and language. And basically, these are the most basic demographics of the audience that you want to reach. You can choose by interest. You can pick specific interests that are important to your audience. And these are determined by what people are connected to on Facebook, such as pages or apps. So if you're in a hobby niche or you're in a business niche, you can zoom straight in and only target those particular people. You can also select your audience based on connections. So you can set your audience based on whether or not they're connected to any of your pages, apps or events. Or anyone who has a friend connected to what you're advertising will see their friend included in your ad. And this can increase the likelihood that they'll find your ad relevant and they'll find it relevant enough to engage with it. Now, keep in mind that selecting multiple options for connections will limit your audience to people who only fall under each parameter. So, for example, if you wish to target your fans and friends of fans, you'll probably be better off using two separate ads, one for fans and one for friends of fans, because selecting both parameters for one ad will target only people who are fans and have friends who are fans. So it does sort of uh, work its way through, so it um, can limit you. You can actually limit the amount of people that see your ad. This is the whole point. It is to sort of narrow down rather than broaden um, the advertising base. And, of course, there are more categories as well. 
Um, you can select people based on any Facebook or partner categories that you've requested access to. Although you need to keep in mind that some data is only available to advertisers in the US because Facebook is, of course, a US-based company and data protection laws apply in various places. Now, let's look at a few tools that can help you to select the right audience. The first one is Ads Manager. And as it says here in their Help Center post here, you can create and run your ads, target your ads, set your budget, see how your ads are performing, and see your billing summary, payment history, and payment method info. And you can find out and access it by going to facebook.com forward slash ads forward slash manager. Obviously, you do have to have some ads running in order to manage. The other one is Power Editor, and this is, it says, designed for larger advertisers who need to create lots of ads at once and have precise control of their campaigns. And you can find it at facebook.com forward slash ads forward slash manage forward slash power editor. And you have to have the right sort of browser to make it work. And it's basically an updated version of Ad Manager. Finally, you can use Audience Insights to get a really good look at the sort of people who are looking at your advertisements. And they give you a lot of information, things like demographics, page likes, activity, purchases, etc. And as you can see from this screen grab that they've got in the Help Center, there's a lot of uh, information here, a lot of uh, easy to follow graphics and that sort of thing. And they do have a lot of information on how it works. And there is actually a video on the subject that explains it probably better than I can. So if you come here to facebook.com forward slash business forward slash news forward slash audience hyphen insights, you'll be able to find out all about it.